Taurus. Happy Friday. Hopefully it's payday. Let me know down in the comment section. If you're a loyal subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, join the party, join the family. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Find me on Instagram. All that information is down in the description box. Please don't forget to oh, drop your flag. Let me know where you are watching from. And Taurus, Earth Sign family, let's get into these new beginnings and blessings with this new moon in Scorpio. Taurus, you have the Magician, Gemini, Aries, Big Sagittarius, Major Arcana all over the place, Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, trapped, not knowing which way to go. Oh, somebody needing attention here with the Queen of Wands, Leo energy, the Six of Cups in the reverse, which is a proposal card. Ooh, the King of Wands in the reverse. Oh, this is an attention issue. Sagittarius, Leo, Sag. Mm. Okay, Taurus. Lots of passion. A little bit of mind games, manipulation here. Somebody's patience running out. Tired of feeling stuck, trapped, being held hostage by somebody's maybe, maybe it's somebody's ego. Maybe removing your emotions. Taking your commitment off the table. This energy can be vice versa. All right, let's get into this magician. Ooh, Jesus. The devil. Big Capricorn energy, Taurus. This is self-mastery. This is you removing yourself from this toxic situation because you know somebody's playing mind games and that's your patience running out here with this temperance energy. You're tired of this. You're tired of the games, the deceit, the lies, the third-party energies. That doesn't have to just be cheating. This could be people playing games with your family, within your family, your friends, work, um, the workplace. This is people just being cliquish. Another major arcana here, Taurus. You're going through a major. This moon is bringing changes with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And this could be that you feel like your luck is turning upside down because you're because you're realizing that you're stuck in this negative situation. It could be real crazy here with this magician and this devil card. Real crazy. That's why your patience is running out. This has this pressure of feeling stuck, trapped. Maybe there's a lot of attention around this situation. Or there's going to be a big blow up here with all this. There's going to be some type of falling out. But this is you just wanting to bring balance back to your situation. All this... Pat, I feel like there's a lot of arguing, fighting, or there's getting ready to be a big fight, a big argument of some sort. Another major, the chariot, cancer, which is traveling, emotionally moving on, moving forward with purpose and balance. This is you wanted to, yeah, move on from the situation. What's this? Libra energy here with the king of swords coming in and cutting something out, it's cutting out the nonsense here as above, so below. Balancing things out. This is you cutting somebody off here, Taurus. Cutting somebody off and thank you. It was fun while it lasted, but now it is time for you to go with this King of Swords. Um, temperance energy. Yikes. What was the situation? We'll take these two things. What is this? The Four of Swords, which is taking a rest, a break. Next to this Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, things are crumbling down. Here you are pulling away. Another major arcana, the, the tower in reverse, Scorpio, Aries. We're in Scorpio season, which is a time of transition. But this is your world feeling like it is crumbling down right now. Taurus. And that's why you're not speaking and taking this rush. You're just trying to wrap your mind around everything that's going on. This is your head spinning. This is you feeling like you can't breathe right now with this eight of swords, queen of wands in the reverse. Like you just are feeling trapped. Maybe even feeling like you're being held hostage in your own castle here. Aren't we talking about this new moon here? Big Pisces energy, the moon. This is hidden things. This is the subconscious. This is you being stuck in your own mind about this. Because with this Libra energy here and this king of um, swords, Taurus, you're not afraid to cut somebody off. <laughs> not at all. You're not, a lot, you're not afraid to cut somebody off that's not serving you, that's, that's bringing all this drama and nonsense. You're ready to go. This is you taking a break, Finally removing those rose-colored glasses and taking a making a major move here. Moving forward. Letting this person know that there's some changes. Things have to be different. And this is also things being revealed. The five of wands, which is chaos, conflict, and confusion here. And this is you picking up the pieces. 
maybe cleaning up a mess here or having to clean up the pieces after the fallout here and getting yourself back on track, bringing emotional balance back to your situation here with this Four of Cups, okay? Taurus, who are you dealing with? Let's get into this Queen of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody needing attention. When I see this, it can be a mistress. But both the king and the queen are upside down right now. So I feel like this could be you and your partner, you and your boss. These are two people at odds and just butting heads constantly. Constant bickering, constant fighting, um, low blows, going back and forth, tit for tat. This is, tox this is toxic on both ends is what I'm getting, Taurus. You're not letting somebody get over on. You're not letting somebody do something to you and you're not and you're not letting it go. You've gotten this person back a couple times, and with this Queen of Cups here, we have two queens, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. This is two people being crazy emotional here. Both people being emotionally unstable. Both people needing a lot of attention here. These egos are out of control. Taurus, what's going on? This Three of Cups in the reverse, which is a card of reuniting, coming together, celebrating, this is, this is things not coming together here, Pisces energy. This is a falling out. This is third party energies. This could, again, it doesn't necessarily have to be cheating, though we have the mistress card showing up here. For some of you, it is. But this could be having other people in your business here with this five of sticks. This is you clean up the mess. This is gossip. Oh. This is either your person telling, this could be, there's a lot of different versions of the truth going around about what's, what's going on here, Taurus, in this situation. And with the Knight of Wands here in the reverse, this is somebody straddling the fence. Player energy. I don't necessarily get that in this particular reading, though for some people it is third parties. It is somebody cheating, entertaining somebody else behind your back. But for a lot of this, I feel like this is just two people in a relationship or in a situation that are fighting it needed to end probably a while ago and it hasn't and they're fighting with each other and telling people their truth and that other person's telling their truth to their people and so all these other there's a lot of different stories going on there's a lot of chaos and confusion here but there's a lot of selfish energy with this nine of cups and that's it right here in the middle of the read selfish energy people wanting somebody to pour into them while they get nothing back in return Look at these eight cups. That's an eight of cups moment. Putting all their cups in and somebody's got their back turned and holding one up. They're keeping that to themselves. They're not giving that away. And with this big Scorpio energy here showing up again during the Scorpio season. This is a transition. This could be the end of this relationship. Potentially Taurus. Taurus, here you are showing up here with the King of Pentacles. But this is a situation where I feel like one door is closing so that new doors can open for you. And with this King of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the King of Wands showing up here, I, I feel like it's time for you to cut this person off, whoever this is, drop their sign in the comment section, so that a new king or queen can come in to you. When I see multiple um, kings or queens, and I, these are other people, other options coming in. It's time for you to leave this thing alone here. This person that doesn't want to communicate with you, but they want to communicate with other people about whatever the, their truth is. For somebody who's going to come in and offer you real commitment here with the Six of Cups, this is that commitment being removed off the table because somebody's being cowardly, not wanting to speak here. And with this Ten of Wands and the Two of Wands, this is the burdens getting too heavy here. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. And this is a crossroads. Are you staying or are you going? And with this world card, the last of the major arcana in the reverse, this is you exiting stage left. And with the strength card here, quickly leaving, quickly exiting stage left when you are ready to go because this person was acting like a damn fool here with this fool card. Walking away, starting a brand new journey, and you don't care how you go about it, but you are leaving. Taurus, let me know how this resonated for you down in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, find me on Instagram. All that information is down in the description box. And Taurus, Earth Sign family, I'll be checking in with you soon. Keep it real.